Hey guys, Ash here from Escape Studios bringing you another Tuesday tip. Today's tip comes from John Gresco, one of our studio assistants. He wanted me to tell you about Alembic files, which he's recently been using on his own project. Alembic files are ways of transferring geometry and point cache data between 3D programs. So you can save an Alembic file out of Maya, hand it over to somebody who uses Nuke or Mudbox or Cinema 4D. Since all the programs use Alembic files, they can open it up, it will have the camera data, the geometry, the animation, the UVs, everything. And it's an incredibly small file, so it's really, really useful if you're working on a big system or working in a pipeline. Okay, I'm going to show you how to use it in Maya, because that's the primary 3D program that we use. But just remember that this can be used in any program. Okay, so I've opened Maya 2014. Here's an old file of a hologram I was playing with a few years back that's got a little bit of animation to it. I was never really much of an animator, which is why she moves in a very, very creepy way. She's also got terrible posture. She's going to have major back issues in later life. But that's not important. What's important is to show you how to get all of this geometry and all of its animation out into a very small file that can then be opened in Maya or Katana, Houdini, Arnold, Modo, Cinema 4D, V-Ray, Nuke, Gorilla Renderer, RealFlow, Clarice, or Lightwave. There's also plugins that will allow you to open it in uh, Max, Soft Image, After Effects, Mudbox. So it's incredibly versatile. Everybody uses this. It's a great way to pass information between programs without having to do any conversion. Bear in mind that this is relatively new, so it will only be in newer versions of your software. So it's only been included in Maya 2012 and above. Uh, Houdini is Houdini version 11.1. Uh, Nuke is Nuke 7. So before you start saving everything as Alembics, just make sure that you can open it in the program that you want to open it in. Now if I wanted to save Siri here as a Alembic file, I'd go up in the Polygons menu to Pipeline Cache and select Alembic Cache, and you've got Open, Import, Replace, Export All, which is what we're going to do, Export Selection. It's worth clicking on About Alembic if this is the, your first time using the file. That'll open this, which is a really useful document, tells you all about the file and what it can be used in uh, some wiki pages. Very very, very cool. So check that out. Back in Maya, I've gone to Pipeline Cache, Alembic Cache, Export All to Alembic. I'm just going to click on the Option button. Most of this is self-explanatory. Just make sure if you want to take your UVs with you to click on UV Right. And also, it's worth clicking on World Space just so that your geometry gets exported in relation to the center of your scene, which will be really useful when you open it up in your new program. So I'll click on Export All. It will take us to the usual file menu. I'm going to call this Ash Test, then click Export All. You see it's quickly running through the timeline as it bakes the animation into the file. And now that's done. I'm just going to show you where that's gone to in my project folder. There's now a folder called Cache. Inside Cache, there's a folder called Alembic. And there's Ash Test ABC. Look. And that ABC file is ready to be opened in any of the programs I mentioned earlier. It's very quick, very easy, very small as well. You'll notice I've got a character and a phone and a ground plane and a bunch of animation and UVs and I just saved all that out for only 25 megs. That's now ready to pass on to whatever department needs it, whether it's a sculptor, a lighter or a compositor. Very cool, very, very useful. Okay, so thanks to John for passing that along to us. If you have any tips you want to share with the VFX community, feel free to drop me an email and explain them, and I'll make a tips and tricks video about them, and you'll be famous, and you'll get to help everybody out, and it'll be really cool. And remember, if you want to come and visit Escape in real life, in the first two weeks of November, we've got the Visual Effects Festival. Uh, it's, tickets are on sale right now. You can click on the link on the screen. It will take you through to the website. It's going to be really cool. We've got some great screenings, workshops, uh, industry panel debates. There's going to be some really big names from VFX. They're going to be both here at Escape Studios and at the View in Leicester Square, where we've got a big screening room, and we're showing something really exclusive. So click on the link, check out the website, buy some tickets, come and see me in real life. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr